Welcome to another episode of The Space Between, where I randomly adventure, loot, and scavenge with no particular goal in mind. And I have a, an interesting little mystery to show you in this uh, episode. Let me double check my weight. I might need to drop some stuff off initially here. What is my... what am I looking for? Yeah, 208 out of 230. Let's go ahead. I'm just gonna run it instead of fast traveling. To the red rocket truck stop. Really still enjoying the Vivid Weathers mod. That is adding the, uh, the really great um, I think this is a sunrise. Yeah, 6.30 a.m. Did I ever get all the stuff from here? We're gonna take that. Because I think I want to sell some stuff to Trudy. Let's first just drop all junk off. Let's see, what do I have in the way of... Uh, I have a minigun. I want to keep that minigun. I want to keep that. Okay, so... Now for the very interesting mystery. There's actually two things. Um, one for those who maybe are new or newish to the game. Maybe you actually played a while and just never bothered to scout around the vault where you come out of the vault. But that's where we're headed. We're headed back to the vault. And up into the corner of the map a little bit. Because there's a couple things up there. One of which is really, I found really kind of mysterious and interesting. Which I'll show you momentarily here. I think there's some th things here I didn't collect before. Maybe I did. So if we keep going past down this service road, is where we're going to find these things. This road goes down a little ways. And just to show you on the map... Let's see, we might need to go... Well, right around where we're headed is one of the points of interest. Let me show you that first, because I found it the most interesting. I think it's coming up here. Okay, there's some... we can hear some gunfire. Whoa! That's a lot of gunfire. I wonder if we should... Oh, let's switch to... Oh boy, there's people who are fighting it out, or people and animals. Let's see if we can't hurry up and, uh... Oh, he's a preacher. Check this out. I kind of feel bad about that. Where's he at? Where'd he go? Oh, is he dead? He's dead. So, okay. Oh, we didn't entirely. Oh shoot, I'm not doing very good here. I think they're still hunkered down there. 
Oh man. They're gonna be approaching me, I think. Ah, come on now. There's another one somewhere. Show your face! Come on! I dare you! Okay. Load. That might be it. Let's switch to the where where is it? Did I drop it? Did I get rid of it? Did it count it didn't count as junk? Because I checked. There's my ten sniper rifle. I should have got rid of that, or at least stored it. That's a rifle, rifle, some machine gun. Oh, here it is, tactical. Oh, that's a 10 millimeter as well. Alright, I don't know where it's at. What I did with it, but we'll switch to 10 and move in. Let's collect this stuff here. Now, I think I'll collect it all. Oh, here. I don't know if they were fighting animals or each other. Because I'm gonna sell what I can here to Trudy. They have some stuff here. So I'm gonna fill up super fast here. Yeah, I'm already filled up. What is this? Okay, so... Start dropping some things. Uh, now the interesting thing is right up here, I'll, I'll show you. I just wanted to take care of these, uh... these raiders. Two five. And what I have is two two. Oh wait, I can drop one of those. That's right leg. What do I have here for Trying to see. Right leg, right leg, that's what I want. Two, two. I have a right leg on. There it is. It's right up here. It was just this verbose one here. Let's drop that. We can drop one of those and one of those. Okay. There's a couple more things here. Let's go ahead and get the cram. 45 rounds, nice, nice. Okay. Where were these other fellows at here? Okay, there's another little tent here. Water. There's this little. They must have had kids over here or something, because. Kickball. Or they were playing kickball. Now! It's around. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hopefully, we don't have to search for it long. But there's really very interesting uh, location right in this area 
That's not it. We have to find it. Let's get to higher ground. Maybe it's... I'm thinking I'm right on top. Oh, wow. That put me over. All right. Let's go up, up top here. See if we can't get a better view. I thought it was I thought it was right before the tent. Maybe not. Okay, there's the one bit of interestingness, but not the most interesting. There's that little shack there. Well, we might have to walk, we might have to do a little bit of searching for it, so let's do that. Let's do the shack first. Lots of uh, vegetation here. Collect. Hey. Whoops. No, no. Let's get off you. Let's unlock this. Are you serious? There we go. Sweet. All right. Well, we have wonder glue, oil. We want those things. Wonder glue. We want that. Can we take that and not go over? Okay. That might take us over. Now. Let's go up here. Do a little searching here. I know it was around here. I don't think it would be interesting if they maybe removed it in a patch. But if I don't find it soon, I'm going to tell you what it was. But it won't be as fun as just looking at it. Maybe it was after the tent here. No, it wasn't down this far. We were almost... Oh, there's a dog. It wasn't down past this. It was, be it was in between this and over here. So let's just walk back a ways. I'm thinking it's gone. Maybe, maybe the vivid fallout landscape replaced it, got rid of it. It was basically a door, like it looked like a pair of cellar doors in the middle of nowhere. And when you looked at it, it could even say you could open it. But you, you go to open it with E, and nothing happened. It's sort of like, it's sort of like you try to open it, it doesn't really open. I think maybe the texture pack I'm using got rid of it. Because we can't even go back that far, it's not going to let us. Well, you know what, it will a little bit. Let's, uh... not back this far. I didn't think it was. I'm pretty sure it was back by the electric tower. But that's what it was. Well, I'm sorry I don't have it. To sh can't find it to show you. Yeah, you cannot go that way. Yeah. So, that's it. That was the bit of interestingness. I thought it was, I thought, it, it just seemed really interesting. I didn't know why it was there, because you can, you kind of, technically, can interact with it. Alright. Well, let's fast travel back to the truck stop.
Actually, let's go ahead and fast travel to the diner. Okay. Oh, you found something, boy? What? What? Where is it? Where? What you find, boy? Oh, right here? Oh, it's nice. Thank you. Very cool, dog meat. Oh, it's slowing me down. Now, there's still probably junk on this guy. So let's get all this, because we're just going to sell it. I know, we're going to have to wait an agonizing uh, 10 extra seconds as I slowly creep over here. But it'll be worth it, because we're going to sell that stuff. I can rest easy knowing that Wolfgang is rotten in hell. Thank you. Do you need anything? Yes. To barter. Let's see what you got. It's all worth every cap I'm charging. Okay. Weapons, we're gonna sell. We're not gonna get much, but. We have one minigun in, um. in our truck stop bench. So I'm gonna sell this. So both pipe pistols, the pipe revolver pistol. Even though that does. that's 45. Hmm. I'm gonna sell it anyways. Hmm. So the shotguns, laser musket, that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and sell the submachine gun too. That's 25. I I'll still keep one of these on me. Because it's still just sort of like free ammo every- Oh wait, that's what I was using, the comfort grip. So I'll, I'll sell this to 18, 18 is 38. Alright, so that's 37. 25, well, that's because I upgraded I think. We'll sell that. I don't know why I'm keeping this. I'll sell it too. So that's not bad. That's going to get us 319 caps. And apparel. We can sell one of these. We'll sell that. I forgot to add this stuff actually, so we're even going to get more. That. Well, 22 more. That's alright. That's alright. Now, we've done our. Well, we could probably sell some, some stuff that I'm not going to use. I'm probably not going to eat that. That's nice. Intelligence and perception. It's nice for the perception, I think. I don't really... I'm gonna sell... I think we are... We're gonna find lots of nuca cola, so I'm gonna sell these. I 
so uh, even more, even a little bit more from this stuff. Now, what rounds can I sell that I'm just not? Well, five millimeter. The minigun uses five millimeter, right? Or was it five fifty six? I'm thinking it's five. Ah, uh, the fusion cells. Maybe I'll hang on to a lot of this stuff because I don't know what will. Uh, I'll hang on to it for now. Let's look at her weapons that she has. A boxing glove. General Chow's revenge. Glow sighted. Heavy pipe bolt action pistol. Look at that. 51 damage. At 61. But I don't... That's 308. That's 308. I'm thinking... Oh. Let me just stay with mine. Range to 15. Although I need to get... Um, due to the vivid weather is actually obscuring a lot of you, even when I'm sniping, I need to get some kind of night vision scope if I can. Either on this or a different kind of sniper rifle that I make. It's pressed. Okay. Alright, I'm thinking... That might be it. Okay, so... I think that's it. Wait, there was another, another person to loot over here, wasn't there? So actually, we can sell this stuff. Well, I don't want that stealing. All any of that junk is stealing. Hey there. I got a store to run here. You gonna buy? I'll take a look. Sure. It's all worth every cap I'm charging. This is what I was selling, wasn't it? Short pipe bolt action rifle. And then some apparel. So a little bit more. Okay, now we're done. Alright, come on dog meat. We're gonna hoof it. Up through Concord. Concord. And do a little bit more looting through there for some junk that we can stash. More junk collecting. Maybe we'll uh, run into some more raiders while we're at it. I can't believe that door is gone. It has to be because of the vivid landscape textures I'm using. I forgot to see. Can you go in that house there? Oh, it's boarded up. You know what? We can go in here. Let's see what's in here. In the church. Oh, a whole lot of nothing in here. Two bits of stuff. Expert level safe. No way I can open that right now. Molotov. Short pipe rifle. Let's 
wow. That's kind of cool. Oh, very cool. Great place to snipe from. If there was anything to snipe. Oh, we got a couple things. There is a speakeasy, I believe, over here. You know what? There might be a ton of stuff in here. Some oil, nice. We're just gonna loot a bunch of stuff. Take that with us. Right here, I believe. There's lots of little things to loot around here. Ooh, Voltec lab coat. That's kind of cool. Wasteland, one tin can at a time. We get us another safe advance, though. Looks like the back door. I'm gonna go upstairs. Check in here. What's that? X cell. Is that some kind of chem? Let's look at that. X cell. Yeah. Wow. No way. That's nice. It's like a plus two to everything. This is a little weird. Day tripper. Nice. Back here, casual outfit. Oh, a door, an advanced locked door. Okay, let's search around here. Oh, this light works really well in an area like this. That goes out to the Commonwealth. Guess I should have been using the light more often here.
Yeah, it works great. Yeah. Gotta remember to use this more often. Alright, let's go out. Oh, where's the boy? Oh, nice. Nice. Thanks, dog meat. Been like super helpful on this trip. Oh man, more caps. Nice, nice. Let's all empty it out. Let's get me up here. Maybe if I have um, power armor later with it, uh, like a jetpack. All right, let's look in here. Oh, let me find that pet pistol. Nice, nice. Oh, nice, ten millimeter. Oh, and lots of 10 millimeter. Awesome. Experts. There's lots of safes around here. They're all expert level. Let's do a little more exploring. Let's go back here. A little park. Schoolhouse, the oh, nice, it's in here. Man, I'm doing good to finding some extra caps here and there. Well, I'm liking that. Take the umbrella stand. Oh, it's a novice one. Oh. Nice. Check this out. So we got the eight. I'll go. I'll go ahead and take everything. Not a bad loot run so far, really. What's this here? Let's put it up. Is that doodable? What's that say? Wrigley's in by there? Nice. Oh wait, we were here. It's along, I guess we'll call it Main Street. We we're already over there. But what about here? That is bombed out. Maybe 
be there's something up here on the roof or in the attic. I wonder. Nothing really. I think it was worth a look see though. Go up the back though here. An icker sack. Okay. There's a house up there's a couple houses up there. Let's go see if there's anything in those houses up there. They look like they're all boarded up. Take everything you have on you, buddy. Oh, themselves. Nice. Trying to make a little home for yourself here. Alright, let's run up to the truck stop, drop off our haul of junk. One thing I keep forgetting, um, I had forgotten for a while to mention the uh, Dynavision that I had been using, but now I mentioned that in the last video. You can see the dynamic, well, it is kind of dynamic depth of field, it works pretty good. But uh, this one I keep showing over and over and over, and for those in the know, you'll, you, you'll notice that the interior of the truck stop has red paint. That's a mod, that's fresh paint mod. And that is, um, the sort of a, a, there's other mods that really did a great job upgrading the look of the Red Rocket truck stops. The thing is, if they did redid files for one Red Rocket, Rocket truck stop, it redoes the files for all Red Rocket truck, uh, truck stops in the entire game. So this one person, this one modder, I like what they did. They did an in-between, they uh, they made it look a little nicer, but didn't make it so nice that it was out of place. So whenever uh, you run into the other truck stops across the wasteland, they also won't really look out of place. How much weight do we have on this? 168, 230. I did pick up some stuff I could sell at Trudy's, I guess. Let's do a little cooking. I have her beverages. What about? Plus 30 energy resist for an hour. Rad resist for an hour. I like the sound of that. It's 150. It's kind of nice. It uses a lot of stuff. Get 
getting a little bit more XP while we're at it. Plus 5 AP for 15 minutes. this too. Okay. It is uh, getting evening here. Alright, so we've done some cooking. We've done some looting. Now I'll show off another mod. We can actually do some really interesting stuff with the truck stop here and the settlement business. Now it, mine might be somewhat glitchy but as you can see uh, you usually can pick stuff up and scrap it but if you notice, I can pick up a lot more stuff that wasn't originally vanilla. Like, a lot of it is refuse, the vine, look at even the vines. It's a little wonky, but it works for the most part. But a lot of it's just these, uh, look at all this clutter and litter. And look at this, parts that you, uh, pieces of the truck set, there's just no way you could collect it before. So I can remove that, I can remove all of this, so there's a lot more you can do um, for decorating and cleaning up. I, I wanted to still, I wanted it to still be a wasteland, but I wanted to have the ability to at least be a little bit cleaner, you know? like. I mean, obviously, even though it's the wasteland, somebody can still at least pick up a freaking broom and sweep up those papers and uh, bits of rock, right? So, this stuff can be scrapped. Now it'd be cloth and cork. I'm not quite sure why. That can be scrapped. See, so you can clean up the floor. Another neat thing is you can move around all the all the uh, workbenches, the powered armor station. Yeah, well, actually, a lot of that might be feasible in the vanilla game. This stuff, normal, uh, <clears throat> you can get rid of. But look at this. You can even take down these posters, which is interesting. I So a lot of mods I have in my game are mods just for like settlement building and decorating. I probably actually have just as many or more mods for for the settlement side of the game as I do for like the graphics side for when I'm actually like out playing. See, floor's looking a bit cleaner already. Not too shabby. These tables can go. I don't think those were able to be removed before. This is what's kind of cool. I can remove this now, which I think I, I will do. It's kind of weird it becomes wood though. Hmm, I wonder if, I'll, if I'm stuck not being able to remove the, uh, oh no. Burnt Fashion Magazine. Burnt Lifestyle Magazine. Okay, so let's exit this and let me take that. Okay. So all this can go. 
these tires can go. So I think this is pretty cool. So you can just, and I have a lot of extra furniture bits and pieces and things, like I have things called Do It Your Shelf, which adds clutter for shelves, which is kind of neat. I have OC Decorator, which allows you to take little things like all the little bottles and wrenches and things that normally ha have physics attached to them that can be bumped and bumped off of and moved around. And you can set them in very delicate arrangements and then lock them into place, which I think is cool. So, we are almost level 8. Look at that. Can we, we could get rid of that. All of this stuff. Look at this. We can clean that up. But let's exit this. Reload. Now, let's check our map. Now, there is some more stuff up here, I believe. We actually went and cleared the USAF satellite station Olivia, but... Well, let me make sure I've dumped every last bit of junk off. Okay, I have... Nice sunset. Look at that. That I mean, that is neat. I like stuff like that. What we're gonna do is run back behind Sanctuary Hills here and then head east. Because there's other points of interest back there, and I think we'll just do a little bit of loot. Actually, you know what? There's a lot more to loot in here as well, in Sanctuary Hills. We could loot more of this stuff out. What is that? Another 10mm pistol. Chair, sit, task, ready. Unlock that. Oh, look at that. Med X. Take that. Go in here. All right, let's go ahead. Going the wrong way. All right. All right, let's go dog meat. We're gonna go... Now see... Oh, you know what? Let's... Before we do that... That is Preston. So, Preston. this. Wow, 38 rounds. Right. I want to um, try to see what kind of maybe modifying I can do armor and gun wise. Take a look at our guns first. Alright. 
or 10 millimeter that I'm using. The powerful 10 millimeter. Powerful receiver. Okay. Powerful receiver. I'm getting 37 damage from it. I don't want automatic. I want to move up to the advanced. It requires rank 2 gun nut. So really do much more than you bring to gun nut. Now, how about my rifle? Oh, this is what I want right here. I need science rank one. I need science rank one to get this, and it, it would be the long night vision scope. That's what I want. So that requires sci one in science. Interesting. Where is the... Okay, here's the armor. Let's take a look at the chest piece. I can take it up to... Buttressed. Which will use some adhesive. I can do more once I get my rank up in armor, but it might be worth upgrading pieces of my armor for now. Especially since we've cleared Corvega and we're going to move in, you know, to other quests. Mm, I just don't know. It's kind of like I'm thinking I'm going to wait now. Make sure I've got everything I can just dump off there. Let's store some stuff. Other stuff to do. Go to weapons, so I'm not using that well, that pistol. Um, I don't use a lot of melee weapons very much. That's the, I will be using this. I am using that, I'm not using that or that or that. Interesting, I've got two wedding rings. I'm wearing one. I wonder if that affects the story. Inventory, apparel, wedding ring. I'm gonna take it off. Now, I guess I could have dumped it without taking it off, but. My wife is gone. I will always love her, but she's gone now. I'm just looking for my son. I have to move on. Alright. Moving on is what we're gonna do. Like I said, we're going to go behind Sanctuary Hills here and explore a little bit. Oops, didn't mean to slip. 
slam on the key that heavy and heavily. Along here, on dog meat. Let's actually go. Oops, no, I want to go into sneak. Now, the this light is my, I think, acts like my pit boy light. So, I think it does. Look, oh, see that light up there? See it? I'm gonna head up there. So, I do think. It makes it easier to be detected. Oh, where'd it go? Lots of mutt fruit around here. Oh, do you see that? Oh, come on. Nice. They hurt me quite a bit, didn't they? Oh, I fell into the water. Okay, there's our objective for right now. <laughs> this is our current objective. Infiltrate. Infiltrate that cabin thing. Okay, I see a guy right there. Let's see if we can't Oh yes. Oh yes. Nice, nice. I don't think there's any other dogs. It's looking clear. We'll loot most everything, I think. Oh man, he uh. He'll probably sell that. Oh man. He did not fare well. this? Psycho. Oh nice, 10 millimeter rounds. Medic, Psycho, no rat, meat. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go ahead and save it right here. We made a bit of progress. Alright dog meat, we're doing good, we're doing good. This is how you survive in the wasteland. I'm gonna head. Uh oh. Alright, there's objective number two. We can get up this little rise here. Maybe I can see what I can see. Oh, that's, that's Alright, let's see what we can see. Yeah, I know what that is. That's a, a tiny little dock. So if that's a dock, then... Uh-huh. Uh-huh, see that? Okay. We're going for it. Oh no, don't move. Come on now. Anything else there?
Wait, I saw something. Thought I did. Or was that just... There, there. anymore <laughs> there were three all together weren't there there's the dock there it is. Okay. Let's switch back to... I wonder if I should... Look at that. 419. Let's switch to the pipe pistol for now. I don't want to burn through too much of the 10mm. Uh, Okay, what do we have here? Nice. A little bit of target practice. Now I know there's going to be mire lurks up ahead, it's just the way it is, and we're near water. Ten millimeter actually might be better against my lurks. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and save it. Tire. I think I'll approach in this way. Move some right here, actually. Let's move around here. Ah, shoot, I'm stuck. All right, dog me, me down. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, I'm shooting a tree. Okay. Okay. The toughie 
about that is the terrain trying to like kind of stay on the move and stay away from them. And we leveled up, right? That's awesome. There might be some more of the little ones over here. Some Marler eggs. Nice, nice. No. Yeah, I keep forgetting with the 38, I there's you get so many rounds, you can be a little more liberal with them. Alright, let's head up here. Robotics disposal ground. Okay, let's go ahead and you know spend our perk. So we are level eight. We could we need to be level nine to do the rifleman. Level thirteen for armorer. Gun net we need level thirteen it looks like. Yes. Sneak. We could do sneak again. But let's take a quick peek at some other stuff here. Attack dog, your faithful canine companion can hold an enemy, giving you a greater chance to hit them. And that's. Hmm. I'll, I'll wait on that. That's a. Not. That sounds pretty good, though. Action points regenerate faster. This is a good one. This is actually a pretty good one, too. Night person. Gain plus two to intelligence and perception at night. I like that one. I'll probably use that one. Let's, right now, let's go ahead and spend this on action boy. Action point AP regenerates 25% faster. I think we'll finish maybe looking over this robotics disposal ground loot and, and uh, this up a little bit and then probably call it for the video because we did level up um, and I might do some off-camera decorating I might start actually doing that and I'll be sure to show you my progress next video but so let's loot around here nice nice uh oh perfect permanently unlock a new custom paint job for your power armor nice impact Nice, nice. Let's look around a little bit here. Look at that, that's so nice. Up, oh, up, oh, see? Wait a second. That's the key. Oh, it was weird. It was stuck there. We just got a mini nuke. that down there. That, the lighting makes me curious. It's like a beacon. It's like, ooh, what's that? Okay, I think we're gonna fast travel back now to... Yeah, let's first go to the Red Rocket and get it. And then we'll put together... Well, yeah, I'm going to... I tell you what, I'm going to end this here. I'll probably just fast travel and dump all this junk at the Red Rocket truck stop. 
And then if there's any bits of apparel, like ge outfits that I picked up, I will um, collect what I might have put in the truck stop and take it and sell it to Trudy. Uh, but we leveled up, so that's that's good. And we looted a bunch of stuff to add to our truck stop, so I can start. Probably about now, I can actually start cleaning it up a little bit and uh, decorating a bit. There's so many possibilities with decorating, though. It's going to be like crazy, like this stuff. I might look at photos and, and pictures other people have done to get ideas. So thanks for watching. As always, I have a Patreon, patreon.com slash stratix, S-T-R-A-T-X. I haven't been on it in a while, but I'll put some updates since doing this series. Uh, I'm also on Twitter, Stratix Gaming, and of course my YouTube is Stratix Gaming too. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.